Thanks for coming back for part two. In this segment, we'll be making the pistons. Because there's very little tolerance in this engine for error, and I don't think I could cut the rod off the right length by hand, uh, freehand, I've rigged up a little apparatus here that I hope will uh, allow me to cut it perfectly. Okay. After a bit of practice, I did manage to get all the uh, pistons cut out, sand at the little edges, um, a little a small disc sander on the uh, in the drill press, and uh, cleared out the burrs and stuff. Now I'm working on making the piece that's going to attach to the uh, connecting rods right here. I'm actually compound cutting this out of a small piece of wood. It's hard to see here. I'll have to take a picture and overlay it. But and, uh, once you have that cut out, you can actually put one of these in the drill press and just kind of hold it carefully and uh, it'll round it off as you push it in. So I'll be gluing that in. But i got four more to make. So I'll show how I make those. Okay, this is the pattern for the uh, part that's going to go on the end of the piston. To make the uh, spot where they're going to link together, I'm going to use a piece of the music wire sharpened to a point on one end, actually this end. And I'm going to just put that in drill press and uh, just drill it right through. You know, because this wood has pretty uniform grain, It'll be nice and it'll go through nice and straight and make a nice tight hole for when I do pin them together later on. tiny pieces. The quickest way I found to shape them to fit the tubes, because they are squared on the bottom, is to just first put a little groove notch on the appropriate corners. I don't know if 
probably can't really see this put a notch right there I'll put a notch here so that when it strips off the, the square part it falls off when it gets to the end Quick and simple. I spray painted the ends blue. Try to dress things up it here. I'm gonna just smear a little glue on the inside here. And uh, one by one, insert these into the uh, into the pistons. Later on, when I plug the other end, I use the piece I'm plugging it with to plunge some more glue in. I expect this will hold fine. Plug the end. Oh, it's getting hard. I'm just uh, I'm using a quick epoxy, so I got you get about five minutes to set this up. But to plug the end, I'm just using a bamboo skewer that I kind of shaped to fit. I just cut each one off, stick it in again. Now I'm making a jig. That will ensure when I drill a hole through the uh, piston that it's positioned the right distance uh, in the right spot on the, on the piston to line up with the holes in the engine block. So first, uh, I'll draw drill a small hole here, uh, three thirty seconds there, a larger hole here, then cut that out, then I'll be able to insert that in the hole and pin it in place. Once the jig is ready, you can use a piece of music wire to set the distance that the hole we made earlier. And that will ensure that the hole, the valve portion, is lined up properly when we drill through, so it will line up when the engine runs. Got it pegged in here. Just drill it through and see how it turns out. because it's going to be hot. Our holes drilled. After drilling all the holes, I use a diamond grinding bit to clean up the openings. Then, I seal the grain with a little clear nail polish on both the end and inside the hole. Thanks for watching.